Hey guys, Lethal Leslie here, and today I'm going to be showing you the best places to loot in Days Gone. Now these are just the best places in my opinion and the places I like to go because I know there's a lot of good loot there. There are many good places to loot on this game. With that being said, let's get straight into it with our first location. So the first location is up here where you go. It's in one of the early missions. Once you clear it out, you can see there are so many tents here like Nero tents and things like that. So this is one of the best places in my opinion to loot on the game. And yeah, there's loads of random stuff here. This is what it looks like in-game, obviously. And you can see there's loads of tents here. And they all have one or two items. And it actually goes further back, all the way up to the back there. Now, there's some places I'm going to go in and search. Some places I'm not. And this is going to be on the list of places I'm not going in to search. So this is area number one. Come and check it out if you need loot. It's a pretty solid spot. The second spot is one of my favourite spots, but also one of the most obvious spots. This is where it's located on the map, and as you can see, it's actually the camp that you start in. This is one of my favourite spots because there's actually a tree either side where you get the materials to make the bolts. You can see I've already had the one, the flat one, and then there's another one this side, as well as having plenty on site for you to loot. So you get yourself some scrap here, you can get yourself a melee weapon, there's a few bits and bobs inside here, as you can see. There's also petrol on here, or fuel as you call it to pick up as well as well ha as well as having a plenty more items on this side as well so it makes it a really good go-to spot for a little bit of everything in my opinion so that's spot number two let's move over to spot number three the third and final spot in the starter regions of the map the first two areas that you unlock is going to be crazy willy's garage you come here right at the start of the game and you get yourself plenty of good little bits and bobs in the houses that we're passing now, as well as the garage itself. And the reason I like this garage itself is because of the fact it has a lot of scrap here. And scrap can be a bit tough to find come the end of the game. So when you come to a place like this, it's a decent place to always get a little bit of scrap, as well as all the other bits and bobs you're going to need. If you find any garage really on the game, it does tend to have a lot of stuff that you kind of need just to craft stuff. It Usually if there's a garage like this one here, you're going to see there's plenty of good stuff around. And Crazy Willies is no different. In fact, I think it's one of the better ones. So that's the third spot on this side of the map. Let me just show you where that is on the map. As you can see here, there are a few fast travel areas around that you can use to get here quite fast as well, which ain't bad. So this is Crazy Willies Garage. Now we're going to move into the middle of the map. I'm going to show you my number one spot on Days Gone to loot. So the fourth spot on the list is one that a lot of you guys will already have seen plenty because this is the location of the biggest horde on the game also. And it is the old sawmill Nudo checkpoint. So it's not actually the sawmill itself. It's the Nudo checkpoint down here that's next to it. The sawmill actually does have some good bits and bobs in there. So it is worth running around and having a look. But this area, in my opinion, is the best place on the whole game to loot. Constant stuff that you can pick up. There's two things up there. We are drowned. You have got some petrol or fuel there if you need. Come around here, you got bits and bobs here, bits on here, and it's just it's just full of stuff. I like something on there as we jump over. Saw a uh, saw blade there if you're looking for a saw blade. Something in the back of the truck there. Then you've got a couple of the tents back here as well to loot. It's just got constantly good stuff in it, as well as having plenty inside as well. Some more bits and bobs here that we can pick up. So yeah, this is my favourite place to loot. I do a little circle here every so often when I'm looking for some good loot. And I seem, tend to find a lot of stuff that I need quite easily by coming to this area alone. Um, so when this area is available to spawn, I do tend to use it quite a lot. So the fifth place on the list is going to be in the last area of the map you unlock. Let me show you where I am on the map. It's proper bottom left, this one. And it is the Nudo checkpoint down here that you want to come to. When you come here, you're going to see a couple of bits of gunpowder and things like that. A med kit and a bottle and that instantly. And then I tend to make my way around here. You've got a few more bits and bobs on there. And then you've got a tent here that has a few bits and bobs as well. So as you can see, it's quite it's quite nice. It has a lot of close uh, close items that you can just pick up all right next to each other, which is decent. And then you've got the rest of the Nudo Center as well, which you can also go ahead and search. There is actually a horde just over here. So you want to be careful not to make too much noise. And I think this is a respawning horde. Personally, I think this area is going to be used for DLC one day. And that's the reason it's here. Because we're going to be able to clear these cars at some point one day. And then we're going to be able to use this area for DLC, which will be pretty fun. But this area is one of my favourite areas because of that, really. Because of the fact I think it's going to be a DLC area. So I do like coming here and messing with that little hall that's behind there every so often. And yeah, let's get on to our final area now and search for some more loot. 
And the last place I've decided to put on the list is this ski lodge area right up here. There's a few good things here, there's a few bad things. It can be quite busy and populated at times. It's probably not the best area, but it also has the best melee weapon on the game. So it's also a good place to come if you're looking for that. You can see there's a bit of scrap here. We'll go for a little run round. I'll show you where the melee is now, and I'll try and use my vision. So you can see that there's even ammo here, which is decent as well. That's always a good thing to find. But like I said, it can be quite populated at times, which can be a pain in the butt as well. This is where you're going to find the melee on here. As you can see, the best melee in the game. I've currently got it, so I don't really need to swap out. Just going to leave it there. We'll just hit this guy. Why not? And yeah, there's a few good bits and bobs as you go around here. You can see there's a bit of gunpowder here. I think I don't think I'm full up on gunpowder, so I'll take that. Um, and yeah, so this is probably what, one of my best places and I do uh, pop up here every so often obviously to get the melee weapon if nothing else But it does always tend to be relatively busy. So you get you get like a mini horde here really which can be a pain in the butt Anyway, with that being said, I'm gonna leave the video there They're the six places I like to go if I need to loot up to do something like take down a big horde uh, Yeah, if you like the video like the video subscribe if you want to see more thanks for watching as always and take it easy